Sometimes veterans leave the service and they get help. Some may struggle to do so. In today's Thank You For Your Service story, we speak with one veteran who copes with his trauma by doing the helping. It wasn't always in Richard Reed Sr.'s plans to go into the service. I thought, you know, like all of us think that we were going to be a top rank athlete. Reed attended Central State College to play football. When they sent me home, you know, I, I, I kind of lost my scholarship. His coach told him to attend a junior college to get his grades right and he could return. But life had different plans. I got that dreadful letter to Uncle Sam wants you. Reed's uncles had served in the military. They encouraged him to enlist and told him that life after the service would present him with more opportunities for schools to attend. So he did, but he stayed for nearly 20 years and worked in the Army Medical Department. I served in Korea twice, Vietnam for three and a half years, Japan for about eight, nine months, and then I served three years in Germany too. He started as a medic and worked his way to becoming a surgical physician's assistant, which he says was very traumatic. I thought that we had excellent training, but we were trained under the World War II Korean War model of taking care of patients. Well, Vietnam was a whole new ball game. Reed says some of his memories still haunt him. We saved a lot, but unfortunately, we lost a lot. He says he still has nightmares seeing patients coming into a room. So I said, hang in there. You're going to be OK. He did not make it off my table. And it was the first patient Reed lost. You know, they psych us up that we can do any and everything, you know, because you know, we have the best equipment, but uh, God has a plan. It was a tough reality. We thought that, you know, we had all this expertise, all this good training that we can save everybody. And say, so you can save some, you're going to lose some. He keeps busy by helping disabled veterans as a coping mechanism. Reed especially helps disabled veterans of color file their disability claims. I just have this giving and caring uh, philosophy, you know, I like to help veterans. He says it's not the full solution, but it helps. Reed says that, support from his family, counseling and hobbies help to keep his mind actively focusing on the present and not the past. Richard Reed Sr., thank you for your service. If you know of a veteran in need of help, we have several links and resources posted on WSPA.com. If you are a veteran wanting to share your story or you know of an organization that helps veterans, you can also find a link to submit a tip that's up on our website.